Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. It's been a long hot minute since I've been on with anything that is even remotely art related, but I've decided it's time for me to find my joy and my joy lies in art with paper crafting and mixed media specifically. So I'm going to get back to my love of paper crafting by getting back to my roots and bringing in some fun things and I thought I would start off by doing a haul. I've had a lot of things going on in my life. Um, we have remodeled our house, we have moved our shop, we have a new setup for arts and craft space and we have a new filming space and it's just not quite right. So forgive my lighting, it is what it is, but I didn't want to put this off any longer. So let's just jump right into it. These items came from Scrapbook com from Mercari, from Etsy, um, from a couple different vendors that I like that are small shops, and some of them were little freebies, so I'm going to start with the gifties that I was sent. This is Fibers, so stinking cute. Oh my goodness, I got this tiny little stamp set that was because of my love of all things grunge and vintage and a little bit distressed and this was super super cute i'm gonna make good use of that this tiny two by two um mini paper pad this is the cutest thing ever i don't know what i'm gonna make with it probably some inches um or i guess with it being two by two some twinchies but they are super cute and look at these shakers that are stickers that match them are they not just the most adorable things oh love 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 it all right so those were some goodies that i was sent i have a big bucket full of individual things of bling and paper clips and um oh my goodness pieces of vellum and different embellishments of that sort but i didn't want to go through all of that stuff because it's all just so tiny um, I did get sent, scrapbook.com sent me some foam adhesive strips, which I'm going to make good use of these. And um, let's see, we got some Distress Ink and Distress Oxide in Speckled Egg, love. Got Distress Ink and Oxide and a Mini in Kitsch Flamingo absolutely love this is like i i was so happy when this came out and i like speckled egg i like the other colors but kitsch flamingo i was like yes a new pink definitely what i love gotta have it gotta have it but then they totally blew me away with salvage patina like i i can't even this color this color is so flipping good it is awesome and as a nice little bonus my craft space my new workshop is done in white and this color of salvage patina as the accent color for all of my bins and different things that we have going on so I know I'm going to be getting some use out of this then I also got in the four pack of distress inks I got rustic wilderness and crackling campfire super cute I'm going to use them definitely see me doing some uh def some some fall things with this this crackling campfire looks a little bit on the orange side to me more so than red but I think that's kind of what what it was intended to do so loving that let me stack these guys up and set them aside okay i got some watercolor samples um a little bit goes a long way with watercolors and let me grab my pokey tool these things are well sealed in these little containers i tell you they're gonna last forever but i have to have help opening them up so get rid of the glare a little bit there these are glitter metallic color shift they are just so amazing and this set right here it's actually called ocean um love 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 all of these these colors i'm trying to get it so that it shows you the color shift but it's not picking up very well on camera i'm using this for planners as well as for mixed media a little bit goes a long way and i'm loving it i'm here for it for sure 
Okay, so with the inks and the watercolors, I went ahead and picked up new blending tools. I've heard good things about these domed blending tools, these um, foam applicators, so I'm going to give them a try. The tools themselves will fit the same size as Ranger and Tim Holtz as far as the blending pads, the little round circles, and I have tons and tons of those, but I don't like the harsh lines that they leave behind. It's just something I've never been able to master. I have a lot of fun doing it. It works with mis mixed media when I'm layering a lot of things, but from card making, not so much, not my favorite thing. So I'm gonna give these a try and see if they don't do a little better for me. I picked up some mint tape because I'm almost out of purple tape and I've heard that the mint tape is really great. So I'm gonna give that a try. Let's see, and I got some dies, so let's go through the dies real quick. I have my <clears throat> Tattered Florals die. Love this. Some Thinlets. Now my Thinlets, this one is called Mixed, Mo Mixed Media Motifs. So how perfect is that? Super, super cute. And then I got bird cages, and the bird cages, I actually got this for this lovely, um, I don't even know what to call it. I'm going to go ahead and call it wire, but it looks more like chain to me, and I don't know if you can see, that's all one piece. All of the strands are all one piece, and that is super cool. So that, I was I was like, yes, I love it. The birds are all separate. This looks like a chandelier piece to me. So does this, so does this. I can see me doing some fun things with this one for sure. Of course, I had to pick up some wildflowers. I have the stamps of these coming as well. And I got the, um, what is this one called? Small Tattered Florals. So this is the small. And this is the large. Yay, love. And I got, um, this one is called Swirling Stars. I picked this one up to make a stencil out of it because I love this swirl. And I've got some ideas for some things I want to do with it with some ink and some sprays. So I thought, why not just grab it, put some acetate with it, make me my own um, stencil that I can use. And then I've also got these great pieces that I can use for other things too, for backgrounds. So that was it for the dies. I picked up this Teresa Collins Vintage Finds. Uh, this is number two in the set. And I actually got this because I love this piece right here. It is like um, part of a damask pattern, but it has writing behind it. I wish that was picking up better on camera, but it certainly is not. Um, it's got some writing behind it and it's just a lot of really cool details. Detail. And of course there's music notes and keys, arrow, a finger, and it's got um, time, place, and date, which I can use with my planner stuff. And you guys do not be surprised if you see a mix of my love of planning and mixed media come together with some cool new projects and possibly even some digital releases. So that I've got some things in the works. So let's just Let's just keep an eye out for that. Um, all right, so let's start with the Stampers Anonymous mixed media sets. These are stamps and stencils. Love, love, love this with the insects. This one is THMM111. Loving it. And this one is 113. All kinds of sentiments. I saw this great tip. I've, I've got to give credit where credit is due. I saw Ryan on Glitter Grunge Greetings, and he was doing um, with his stamping tool. He took the, the sentiments. I don't think it was this one, but it was a set of sentiments, and they were on the acetate. He took that with the tape, taped it down to his... Um, to the stamping platform to the lid instead of peeling these off made a whole sheet of sentiments at one time 
went in, used the embossing powder over the top of the ink to make the clear embossed um, images, and oh my goodness, I I was like, yes, I'm I'm definitely here for that. I have got to be trying that. So loving the technique. I'm gonna give it a shot. This one is 114. I don't know if I said this one. It's 113 and love the stencil on this. I'm all about the stencils. This is 114. I thought it looked very much like um, some floral scribbles. That was what got me, and of course the dots. I'm, I love the dots. And this one is 117, and it's got lots of, um, I wouldn't call them sentiments, but you've got your, well, I don't know. I guess they could be called sentiments. They're pretty cool. They're words and sayings. The best way out is always through. If you can dream it, you can do it. Lots of really inspirational pieces. Love that. Then this one is 124. And it has some floral pieces that are part of the Blossom Collection. Love this. Love this buffalo check. Love this dots with the different uh, sizes. It kind of reminds me of bubbles. Yes. All, all in. All in. And I've got some more floral ones coming. I think I have seven more sets that are actually coming that are stamp sets with stencils or dies or both. Um, but I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to just keep putting things off until it was the right time because it's just never been the right time. It's just not working. So I said, why not jump in and just show the haul and let's get started having fun making art again playing with art so we've got this six by six stencil it's called wanderlust love it this one is called mini time for love very distressed this one is trees i believe that's actually what it's called pine trees there we go and if you've been with me for a while you know that i have a thing for trees as much as i have for polka dots so i had to have this when i saw it and i thought this is going to be so great in my mixed media as a nice faint background little little touch of me in there this one is called Bubbles, and it kind of gave me an animal print vibe, so I went ahead and picked it up, but then I got Cheetah, definite animal print, and I have Cheetah from Chalk Couture in lots of other silkscreen. I've got Cheetah and Zebra and Chalk Couture that are in my silkscreen designs with the adhesive backing, and of course Chalk Couture is great for mixed media, as well as doing, you know, shirts and any kind of textiles that you want to, that you want to use it on with either your ink or your chalk, but I thought I wanted something a little smaller in scale, so this was perfect for that. Same thing with this Zebra. A little smaller in scale for me. The zebra stripes are a little closer together. There we go. That's a good view. And then, oh my goodness, I had to have this mermaid shimmer. You guys, look at that. It is mermaid, but it's not uniform. They're all different. And it just gives a nice shimmer effect. I, I am loving that. And then I picked up Ocean Waves because I can't have mermaids and all things sea life without having some waves. And this one is a little bit different than the others that I've had. And I thought, well, it looks pretty cool like this too. Um, I, I like it both ways. So let's see if it picks up. Having a clear embossing folder, I'm sorry, clear stencil makes it hard to um, hard to see on the screen, the design. But to go with that, because I got all the stencils, I went ahead and picked up another bottle of Pixie Spray to help hold them in place. A new scraper, because you can't have too many scrapers. Loving those for my texture. And then I picked up this white pearl modeling paste. I've seen um, Nancy Stamps did a great, uh, a great review on this particular product where she was coming in and coloring it with different things like I've got mica I've got inks I've got reinkers I have so many different things that I can use to color this paste and it's got like this pearlescent shine to it that um 
when you color it with other things, you still get that shine. So I'm gonna try it out, but I do believe that I'm gonna have to get my hands on some Simon Hurley Lunar Paste. That stuff, metallic, translucent, amazing. I love the five bright, the vibrant colors that they've come out with. Um, I still haven't been able to get my hands on crafting foam, and I want the foam, the stamping foam, and I want the Lunar Paste as well. So that's probably gonna be coming in another haul soon. Soon. And this is part one because part two, I still have some things in route to me like the other um, Stampers Anonymous sets and some other stamps and things. So I'll get a part two put up really soon as soon as I get a few more things in. And in the meantime, I'm going to start playing. I don't know if I'm going to do um, actual step by step where I'm doing the, um, I'm explaining what I'm doing while I'm playing or if I'm going to actually just do it and fast forward it with some music behind it so you guys can see the process and the finished product. But I'm going to get my hands dirty and get to playing with some paper and some lovely mixed media stuff again. I need it. I need the creativity for my sanity, for everything. So you guys are going to be seeing that again very very soon meanwhile thanks for joining me for this haul i hope you love it as much as i do i hope it inspires you to grab your supplies make something wonderful create something for yourself today don't wait don't put it off just do it take five minutes make something for yourself and enjoy the process it might be fabulous it might be a fail but for sure it's going to be something wonderful for you anyway guys remember if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button down below and then go over and click the little bell I would love to have you come along for the fun in my next videos that are posted and remember be good to yourselves be good to each other and happy crafting